Hey, it's Jesus Castillo from Ruby Guides, and in this video, you are going to learn about this syntax: percent W, percent Q, percent I, percent R, and percent X. If you ever wonder what those are useful for, what this mean, then watch this video and find out exactly how these work. Let's do this. Okay, so what's this percent W, percent capital W? Well, let me show you an example. Normally, if you want to create an array of strings like this, then you, you need these double quotes, right? This to tell Ruby that these are strings, right? But there is another way to create an array of strings that doesn't require you to use these quotation marks. And that's exactly what percent %w is for. Notice that we do percent %w, then parentheses. And then inside, we write our strings. So they are, notice that they are separated by a space, not a comma right, but a space. That's what makes these separate uh, strings. And they don't have to be one letter, they can be longer strings, like banana or apple, right? Doesn't have to be single words, just an example. And when I press enter, Ruby converts this into an array of strings just like this one, right? So why would you ever want to do this? Well, because it saves you work. It saves you work and that's nice, right? If you, whenever you want to do less work and let Ruby do the work for you, that's a good thing because you're getting the same result as you can see here. So percent W is a special syntax that allows you to create an array of strings. Now, there is also percent capital W, and you might be wondering, what's the difference? Why do we have lowercase w and uppercase w? Well, there is a reason for that. And whenever you find things like this, it's very important that you ask yourself, why is there a difference? That we help you improve your understanding, not just with this syntax, right? With this percent something, but all, also when learning other things in Ruby and in other topics, you want to look for sameness and difference to improve your understanding. Okay, right here, have this capital W. Let me explain what it is. Let's say that we have the number one, assign to the variable a, like this, right? Now, if I do, if I do percent w, and then I do a string interpolation, which looks like this, and then bc, what happens is that Ruby interprets this as it is, right? It doesn't do the actual interpolation, substitution of this value for the number one. Now, if I do uppercase W, can you guess what will happen? Well, exactly this. Ruby will take this interpolation and actually substitute or replace the value for the actual value of the variable. That's what we call a string interpolation. So what this means is that lowercase W do, doesn't do string interpolation, it just interprets everything as it is. And uppercase W does string interpolation by replacing this symbol and the variable with its value. So that's exactly the difference between these two. Okay? So now let's move on into the next example, percent Q. What's percent Q right here? 
Well, it's going to be very similar, but instead of arrays, we're going working just with strings. So again, an example, because things are always better understand, understood with some example. We can write some string in here. For example, Ruby guide is a great place to learn Ruby. Do you agree? Hope you do. <laughs> so that person Q and what it does is create a string. So how is this any different than just creating a regular string? Well, the difference is that for a regular string, again, you use the quotation marks. In here, there are no quotation marks. So what's the benefit? What's the advantage for you? Let me demonstrate. If I put quotation marks in here, like this, it just works, right? I can have as many quotation marks as I want inside the string created with percent Q. But if I have a regular string, which starts and ends with quotation marks, then having quotation marks inside this kind of string is going to be a problem, right? Because Ruby is going to think that this is a string and then this is something else because there is a quotation mark in here. This marks the end of a string. So what we get is this syntax error, right? But this doesn't happen with percent Q and that's why percent Q is helpful in this specific case when you want to have um, lots of quotation marks in your string. So that's percent Q and there is also a percent uppercase Q like this one. And the difference is the same as between lowercase W and uppercase W. So it's a string interpolation. So that's percent W and percent Q. So now we have a few more to cover. So keep watching if you want to learn more Ruby. And also you might want to click the like button if you're liking this video. So that helps me and also helps you so more people can watch the video and I can keep watching. I mean, I keep making more videos for you. So click the like button if you want that. Also visit my website, rubyguides.com to find a lot more tutorials in there. So back to this topic, what's percent I? This right here. Well, as you can see, all of these percent something, they follow a pattern. They allow you to do something that's already possible normally with regular Ruby syntax, right? But it's like a kind of shortcut, right? It's another way to do the same thing. So in this case of percent I, what you are making is, let's find out A, B, C. We're making an array of symbols. Okay, so these things with the colon and then some text, we call these symbols. If you don't know, you're not familiar with symbols, you can Google for Ruby symbols and find my article on this topic. Also, I think I might have a video on this. So that's our symbols and that's percent I creates an array of symbols without actually having to put the colon in front of everything, right? So we have two more to go. We have percent R and percent X. What are those? Well, let's find out. Percent R is related to regular expressions. Regular expressions. So as you might know, regular expressions are for creating patterns. And they look like this. We can do slash, forward slash, then forward slash, and these are the delimiters. It marks the start 
and the end of a regular expression, then we have this. This is the actual regular expression. And in here we're saying that I'm looking for numbers, one or more numbers. So that's one way to create a regular expression. What's another way? Well, person R is the other way. Uh, that's the other way to create it with person R. Then instead of forward slashes, we have parentheses. So that's person R. And finally, we have percent X. What's percent X? Well, let's find out. Percent X, if I have some command in here, some system command, we get the output. So percent X is used to run or execute system commands, just like you would type in your terminal. If you type ID, this uh, Linux command, you get this. So that's one way that you can run system commands. Another way is using the system. There are different ways. Another is using like these things, but this one way to do it. And that's percent X. Let's quickly review what you learned in this video. You learned about percent W and uppercase percent W. And those two are used to create an array of strings, right? Then you learn about percent Q. Percent Q is used to create strings and this allows you to have quotation marks inside the string itself. Then you learn about percent do, sorry, you learn about percent I to create an array of symbols. Finally, you learn about two more percent R for regular expressions. And you remember the last one we just did it is percent X, percent X for running system commands. So that's what you learn in this video. So I think that's a lot. So you might want to watch it again and maybe take notes because I, I understand that's a lot of information, especially if you haven't seen those before. So that's it for this video. Please click the like button for me so I know that you like this video as so more people can find it and benefit from this information. Also, watch more videos in this channel right now so you can keep improving your Ruby skills. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet so you can get more videos like this when they are released so you don't miss out on new videos. And visit my website, rubyguides.com, rubyguides.com. In there you will find over 100 Ruby tutorials for all levels. So I have for beginners, for more advanced, for everybody. And you will also find my Ruby book, which you can buy to support my work and improve your Ruby skills faster. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on this video. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for your support. I will see you in the next video.